All right, so today's lesson is on adding and subtracting integers. Two ways to do uh, this, um, two ways that I'll show you, there are lots of other ways. One is using a number line, and the other way is just using common sense. Let's look at this fairly simple question um, using the number line. How do you do six plus three? on a number line. And a lot of you are thinking, really? We're gonna do six plus three? This guy's gonna bother wasting everyone's time teaching some grade one math question? Um, just hang in there. Let me just show you how we do this question using a number line. So, the first number is where you start. So we're gonna start at six. Six. The plus sign means we're gonna go in the forward direction three spots. Actually, whenever you use a number line, we always assume you're going to go in the forward direction. So we have six and three. We're going to go six, up three, one, two, three. The answer is nine. Common sense tells you that you have six, you add three more, you have nine. And that is your answer. Okay, a little bit harder. Negative six plus three. How do we do this? Starting at negative six, we're gonna move three spots. Negative six, which is right here, we're gonna move three spots. We naturally move forward three spots. One, two, three. The positive sign means we move forward in the positive direction. That's more positive that way. Three spots. So again, one, two, three. The answer is negative three. Common sense tells you if you're down six and you're up three, you still have to pay back the three dollars that you owe, and you are still owing three dollars. All right, negative three plus six with the number line. You start at negative three and you move six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is positive three. Common sense will tell you that you're starting at negative three, or you owe three dollars, then you gain six more, gotta pay back three that you owe, and you have three dollars for yourself, so you're up three. Now, six minus three, and before any of you just start throwing things at your computer thinking, oh my god, this is such a waste of time. I put this question here just so I can show you how to deal with negative signs on a number line. Six minus three, which is three, yeah, I know. Starting at six. Now, naturally, you always want to go forwards. But whenever you see a negative sign, you have to change direction. So we want to go forward, but we see a negative sign going, no, reverse. One, two, three. And the answer is three. So the negative sign means you change direction. Now it isn't always going backwards. It just means it's, it's a change of direction. And we'll sh I'll show you why it isn't al always uh, telling you to go backwards in a few seconds when we look at a trickier example. Okay, three minus six. Most of you um, have dealt questions like this, and you know that the answer is negative three because you have three and you lose six. You're gonna be down three. Using the number line, you start at three, and you're gonna go forward. No, nope, we're gonna go change direction backwards six. This means change of direction. Instead of going forwards, we're gonna go backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, it's negative three. Either way you do it, the answer is negative three. Next, negative three, change of direction, minus six. So you're starting at negative three, and we're gonna go back, or change direction six. One, two, three, four, five, six, negative nine. Common sense will tell you that you have, you're down three, and you're down six more, you're gonna be down nine. This question here, you're starting at negative six and you're gonna change direction. Instead of going forward, you're gonna go backwards three. One, two, three. You're down nine. 
same thing. You're down six, you're down three, you're down nine. Now, this is why we talked about the whole change of direction thing. Here you have a questions, these two questions here, which have signs next to each other. Sometimes you'll have signs like this, where there's a sign there and a sign there, but they're separated by a number. Here you have two signs next to each other. These are called double signs. And what you want to do with double signs is be careful with them. Here's how you do this with a number line. So we're going to start at 3. We naturally want to go forward, but we've got to change direction. And then we've got to change direction again. Six spots. So in which direction are we moving then? If we've got to change direction and change direction. You're starting at 3. We naturally want to move forward, but the minus sign down here says to change direction. So we go backwards. But the minus sign next to it says change directions again. Well, if you're going backwards and you've got to change direction, that means you're going to go forwards again. So when you have to change directions twice, instead of going forwards, going backwards, and forwards again, you end up going forwards. So three, we're going to move forwards six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is nine because of a change of direction twice. Like the old saying, two wrongs make a right. Um, two negatives make a positive. And when we do multiplying integers later on, that rule will uh, solidify that even further. So that's using the number line. The other way to do it is just to realize that when the signs are the same, like we have here, two negative, that turns into a positive. So instead of three minus negative six, this becomes three plus six, which is nine. Whichever way you want to think of it, just get the answer of nine. Okay, what about this? Negative 3 plus, in brackets, negative 6. Now what's the deal with the brackets? I put them there, but I didn't have to. I could leave it like that if I wanted to. I mean, even for this question up here, I could have put brackets around the negative 6. So the brackets are just there just to keep it tidy, because some people find having the signs next to each other look kind of messy and cluttered. So here we have a positive and a negative. So this means, if we're using the number line, we're going to start at negative 3. We start at negative 3. We're going to go our natural direction, which is going forwards. And then the next sign says change direction, six spots. So which way are we going to go, forwards or backwards? We're starting out going forwards and it says to change direction and go backwards. So when you have two signs that are different like this or with a negative sign first and a positive sign, you are going to have a minus sign. This turns into a big fat minus sign. So you have negative 3 minus 6 which is negative 9. One more time with the number line to explain this question. If, for those of you who, like, who only want to do the number line way, you're starting at negative 3, you want to go forwards, but then you got to change direction, which means go backwards 6. So you read it left to right, which direction to go. Starting at negative 3, go forwards, no, nope, change direction, backwards 6. And that gives you negative 9. Forwards, change direction, backwards, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 9 is your answer. Okay, so hopefully you've taken all these notes here. You may have drawn a number line or two. Got all these questions done, all nine examples. Here are your five skill testing questions I'd like you to try. Um, and once you got them all done, bring the entire sheet of notes to me with these five questions done. If you get them all right, I will give you your next assignment. If not, if you made some mistakes, I'm going to ask you to go and fix them, and then you can move on to your assignment. Okay, good luck with that. Talk to you later. Bye.